offers a vibrant and dynamic ecosystem and ideal location factors for established companies and startups alike. Since the year 2000, no other industry in the canton of Zurich grew faster than the life sciences. So today, Zurich is one of the leading centres for life sciences in Europe. This is also due to the top-class universities. Together with the university hospitals, academic medicine covers a broad range of scientific disciplines and provides cutting-edge transdisciplinary research. And this is why Zurich is perfectly positioned to host such a conference. In particular here in Zurich you have research lab and hospital basically across the street. They are very close to one another and this is very attractive and appealing to us. So I, I would make a statement that this interaction and partnership between academia, research, industry will only get bigger and, and, and better in, in the future. So I think events like this are extremely helpful for people to get together in an early stage to really be able to, to generate ideas and not only ideas but also products at the end. It's really nice. I have met a lot of new people and I have made the contacts that I was hoping to make and like the people everyone is friendly and the atmosphere is so nice and I encourage everyone if there is ever going to be another life science in Zurich to come because it's really worth it. Translational medicine again doing research in the patient population understanding this is for us a must do and it's happening now and in the future I think it will be more technology driven we will be able to have it in an interdisciplinary approach bringing together various technologies single cell sequencing, digital pathology, image analysis, uh, big data. In the future in particular, we will be able to process big data and bring genetic information with phenotype information together, I think in a very unprecedented way. This will be very transformative to drug discovery and development in the future. So the future of translational medicine, the way I see this, is we have to move a little bit away from the great excitement that we see today, which is mostly about diagnostics. So all the world word is about personalized medicine, which is really diagnosing the um, individual differences between all of us. Very important. But the next step is, what do we do about them? The next development will have to be about developing new therapies. And I personally believe that molecular imaging is going to be a very important step in this whole procedure because it's very important to know about cells that have mutation X, Y, Z, but it's going to be also very important to be able to localize in the human body to be able to then give targeted treatment. My wish would be that there would be more understanding also from the politicians how important basic research is. I think this, this knowledge that really all of, the, um, all of the employment, all of the new companies ultimately in the high-tech sector come from basic research, this thing hasn't sunk in. And if I have one wish, if I could make that sunk in, this would change a lot. Another wish for me would be going forward that academic institutions sometimes approach companies like Roche for, you know, there's a lot of opportunities to find financial funding. And I think we should always start with the science and the opportunities there and everything else unfolds from there. But I'd like to us to see our researchers on eye to eye and share the same vision and anything that could support, which is needed, uh, from a budget point of view, should always come second. That would be a wish for me. I mean, in nuclear medicine, my wish uh, to really bring the traces earlier to the patient would be to have something like the so-called Heilversuch in Germany, to really be able to, to, to bring those novel technologies to patients earlier on. If you ask me, however, how translational medicine or per personalized medicine will look like in 2030, I think we are still missing one very important component of the equation. And I'm almost shocked to say that I have heard very little about the patient and the citizen itself. All of us since 10 years have this in our pocket. We're continuously recording health relevant data that is so important for the future of personalized medicine. Nowadays, we give this away to Facebook, to Google, if we regain control over this data and we decide how to contribute it to research, then I think we are going to change translational medicine again in a citizen and patient controlled way. So I'm very excited 
that this event that was made possible by the Standortförderung Zürich, Life Science Zürich, Life Science Zurich Business Network and the University and ETH. To have such a conference again next year to see the progress that we are seeing, hopefully with the patient at that time and the citizen in the center of this conference. Thank you very much.